Hi guys, Charlie Tango One coming at you with a different video. Or as some of them would say, um, uh, what's happening? <laughs> Nothing's happening, it's Sunday, isn't it? Alright, now, ah, uh, where are we? Let's have a look. I'll drop that down a bit. Uh, I'll see. Do you know, I'm getting bored, aren't I? Right, here we go. Um, this is... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be short or long. <laughs> I decide that when I get halfway through. Then, only then, will I let you know. Right, now, um, uh, where do we go from here? Oh, I've got a nice little bit of stag on here. This is just a chit-chat and all that, you know, uh, not rabbiting. I've got, that's an offcut of something, right? You know, the staggle. Staggle, not a moose, not a moose. And um, I smoothed off these edges here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to lacquer that down a bit. And I've got some little ferrous rods, which I've got up there. And I think I'm going to put a little ferrous rod in there. Now, you notice it's shaped like that. Now, I'm always going to put the ferrous rod in this end. So you could. But. Actually, it's better the other way round, in your hand, like that. It f fits perfect on your middle finger. It just sits just lovely in there. I just thought you might want to know that. <laughs> right, now, uh, moving on, we're going to go... These pouches, you've got to treat them. You've got to water treat them, you know what I mean? And feed the leather as well. So I thought, well, I've got enough pouches here. <laughs> to keep me busy <laughs> waterproofing now um, before I go on to that some people have said oh I noticed that little neck knife uh, that you had on the bench there like you know any chance of having a uh, work that means look at it. it slang you know uh, we're, we're you know we're common yeah <laughs> um so yeah, yeah, you can. I got this little one, but I, I really, I'm waiting for mine from Todd. He's he's done a fantastic job. But I already had these, but I wanted, you know. Now this one, these ain't cheap. These little things, but as a cheap bit of lacing they put on there. Now this knife is what's called, uh, I forgot it now, a bocker. Now you look online and see how much they are. That's 60 or 70 quid for something like that. You know, well to me, yes, it's a nice knife. Am I paying for quality? I don't know. But that was quite dear. That was a bit lower. I can't remember how much now. But I did eventually, I just put it on the old strop and put that final little edge on it. But as always, it's a lovely little knife, but they've let it down on the on the leather work. It's not the best of leathers. I mean, when they when they stitch that on the under, that's the underside stitch. That's the top stitch. On the underside, when you finish stitching, you put it down on something nice and flat, like a piece of marble, and you smack the top, the bottom stitch down, so it sits in the leather. Or you put a groove stitch in there, both sides, and it will be recessed in that groove stitch. Nah. Didn't bother doing that, did they? Not worry, because I should make my own little sheath for that. With a dangle on, probably. Now, the other little thing was... Oh, this this other one. This is this is the one you all want to have a look at, isn't it? Hey, that's, that's the one you want to have a look at. Um, and what I've done with this... There's only a dear little bit of um, uh, shape there to keep this on. So I've had to hook it round the back that way rather than come down this way because that way this leather keeper will slip off. So by hooking it round the back like that, it stops it coming off. Um, I've got to treat that because what it does is it makes that very stiff. So now I think what I actually done, I put resiline all over this. So now what I've got to do is soften it up, 
treatment you might say so there's that little knife I'll put some oil on it that's a neck knife but what I've done is um, and it just snap around there and I so onto there like that now you can either have it on your lanyard like that or you can have it on your lanyard like that this hole is nowhere near the blade the blade finishes down here somewhere you know so there's plenty you know there's no fear of that point coming hitting that hole right you've all seen it now nice bit of bone handle there none of your tat none of your smut mate this is all good gear now uh, I've ordered a couple more flints uh, strikers um, as I've got so many tins now <laughs> right now you, you can make your own uh, waterproofing stuff up for your, your leather work belts shoes your possible pouches um, it'll even do your, your spot ons you know that sort of stuff like okay so what you do is you get yourself a lump of beeswax that should be about the right size I suppose it's still quite a bit that will uh, hang on let's get some measurements you can get this from Tandy or um, Ab Abbey Saddlery it's an inch, uh, it's an inch and a quarter across there inch and a quarter um, it's an, and it's inch deep but um, I think Tandy sell them in lumps like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, Tandy probably because you got one over in the uh, states there. They're probably your best bet. You get one from there. So you want you want a block of that, okay? Aussie leather, can you? Nice and creamy and everything else. Yeah, it does your three piece sweet leathers and all that like, but too many chemicals in this too many open it up there and think oh that's mm, not much smell to it but that's all right if you want to be lazy but if you want to what I've done is I rubbed it in and I put the old heat gun on it not too close so that it, it sucked it into the leather makes it more supple then so when you've got this um this lump of uh, beeswax Here's some I've done earlier, <laughs> but oh, what I've done is I, I melted this. This is this is for waterproofing wax jackets and, and stuff like that. Now what you got in there is you got eight ounces. Uh, get a bottle of um, turpentine, all right? Turps. Half a bottle of that. Get some boiled linseed oil. Use a good half bottle of that and one pound of beeswax one pound it not in money in weight which is it's quite a, quite a fair size slab right, it's about so thick about an inch thick and it's about like that about that long and about that wide again Tandys will do it or if not Abbey Saddlery I know they do it or you can go to some other leather shop that, that might actually stock some of it. It'll probably be sealed in a poly bag or something. So that's for waterproofing your, your um, cotton wax coats and that, stuff like that, you know. So you can just spread that on there and then heat, heat gun it in there, rub it in. Um, brilliant for that. So that's for waterproofing. But what I've done is I've used some of that. And I've used some beeswax because that's got both in it. But I want I wanted the beeswax, so I put it. What I've done is I've got one of those tins which I've put them all away now. Altoid tins. I put one. I put got some of that. But just remember, you have got them slits in the back where the hinges are. So you can get a tin any at that sort of size, or get a, a tin that just comes with the lid comes straight off. Will be better rather than the hinge because you're limited to how much you put in there. It's just going to leak out of the tin. Here we go again. Beeswax. This is for treating these um, pouches. P 
pure coconut oil. Get that down, Asta, as does, which I think over the other side of the pond is called Walmarts. Over here they call it Asda, but underneath in small print it's got um, uh, a, a part of the Walmart group. So there you go. Um, coconut oil. You can use that for many things. Do you know what? Shrove Tuesday was pancake day. Ding a bit of that in a pan. Perfectly safe. Uh, do your pancakes in it. Lovely. You don't get a, 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 an aftertaste or it doesn't. You know, just think, oh, it's a funny old taste. You don't get none of that. No, none of um, You can actually rub it on your skin. You do all sorts with it. It's a brilliant medication as well. You know what I mean? So if you've got itchy head, <laughs> chuck a load of that on. <laughs> now, once you've done that, I don't even know where I'll put the tin now. When it, you get the tin, I got the uh, my hot gun and I just put the wax in first. Don't have it too close because it, it blows it out. But melt it down and um, in the in the tin. Once it's all melted down, get twice that size. I would say of coconut oil. Dig it out of the pot. Dig it out. Flop it in the tin melt it as it's melt as it melts down and this is when you stir it to mix it this is when it comes out of them two little cracks for the hinges of the tin so if you can get a little tin you get any sort of tin really to mix it in and keep it in there and it solidifies virtually oof, straight away so when you've got it melted down mix it well in with a little wooden spatula thing or something once you've got it all mixed in that's it take it away within five minutes it has solidified and it's gone. And it's workable. It's like a cream. You can get hold of it like that with your fingers. Get hold of it and put a bit of piece of cloth. And you rub it all on there. And you'll be surprised how it softens them up. It softens them right up. What I've done is I've put plenty on there. I've put two coats on each one. And I've let it stand. And I should buff it up later on. Like You don't get a great deal of a, a shine. Um with, with uh, this, I'm just trying to get an old bit one of my t-shirts this is one of my t-shirts look she says, I'm not going to wash it <laughs> I went, why? That, that come up alright that with all them different dyes on there look, maroon <laughs> maroon, <laughs> brown black I went, yeah Happy where I come up. <laughs> Use some of that Oz stuff, whatever they call it. But no, they're just old t-shirts. And I thought I'll add them as polishing cloths in my little man cave. So that's what I've done. Anyway, so I think I've got two I've got two of those sweet tins, as you know. I've ordered I think four four tins like the alcohol tin uh, they got a picture on two of them got a picture of a cowboy on his horse they turned up but the other four they got a stag head on like that, Is that it? yeah they got a stag head on I thought oh, they like, I like my stag head I really do and um there you go, see that's come up quite well, look. I'll just buff that up a bit. I mean, you don't, you don't want it shining like a mirror, do you? Yeah, you know I mean? Especially if you're going stealth camping. <laughs> so, anyway, there it is. You can, you can rub that on, put as many coats on as you want. Oh, yeah, look, there's a new addition. How about this then? Let's get it all right. Put this on as well. There you go. That's my pouch with them two straps that I said I was going to alter because I did make a mistake. See, I'll put my uh, deer head on there. I, I just like I just like to have them on uh, on there. 
on my own stuff anyway. Unless people want it as well, then I do it. I'll do it for them as well. So basically, what, what what I've done now is this is your belt clips. You put it on, bring it bring it up round, clip it onto there and onto there, then bring your pouch down and snap it onto there like that. Bob, your uncle, fan your aunt. Uh -huh. So quite quite pleased with the way that's turned out. Um, so now, oh, let's take that out. I don't know what these ferrous rods are like. These these ones yet. So I don't, I don't use it. I should I should swipe it a few times. But these ones here, these are the. Um, What ones are these? These like my fire. Oh. Like my fire made in Sweden. Well, get up there. So you know, um, this has not got a really sharp edge on it. It's just a pair of scissors that is. But. They're good fire, they're good fire rods they are. So there it is, you've seen my knives. I'm waiting for another one to come through from Todd. As I say, go over and have a look at his channel. Yeah, I'll plug you again, see Todd. Bar Bar Barnsby I think it is, something like that. He's, um, he's got some videos up there. You type in Todd and the rest of it will come up anyway in the in search bar. Um, as I say, he's done knives all his life, and um, he's good. He is good. He's one of his his mates, and he he didn't know his mate was going to um, contact me. He said, uh, "You won't be disappointed with his work, mate. It is crack on, mate. That one." Uh, Survivor preacher. He done his unboxing today. Um, he knew he knew what was what was coming. Like his his knife sheath. He's over the moon with that, over the moon. So he's given me another idea, something to make like. Um, but we'll see what the response is on it first. Like it may come to nothing. It's basically it's, it's a pouch, but a lot bigger than these. But it's for the old Harley Davidson people. Like they they seem to have a lot of them. Not the panniers on the back. They they have a, a little pouch on the front on the handlebars. If I can get a picture of that, or a couple of pictures of that. That'd be brilliant. I'll, I'll just copy it from that picture, which is what I do anyway. <laughs> Most of my stuff. Um, this is turning out to be a long video. All right. <laughs> just in case. I said I'd let you know, didn't I? Now, um, I lost my train of thought. I was going to say something else then. Oh, um, uh, yeah. bluegrass bushcraft. Robert, your parcel is going down the post office first thing tomorrow morning because this is Sunday evening now um, and uh, best best way is uh, make up a PayPal account that's the easiest way and I use it all the time and there's quite a few of uh, quite a few of them over your side of the pond use it it's so quick and simple it's unbelievable you bosh like that within five minutes it's in the person's bank account. Well, it's in PayPal's account, and when it, it, when it builds up a bit high, you just think, "Oh, I'll take some of that out." All you do is you then transfer it into your bank. Simple as that, you know. Um, so uh, there's always someone around at Otaria. Worst comes to the worst, you can go down your bank, say, "Look, can you set me up a PayPal account?" Because they got all your details down there, and they go, oh, the "Bob's your uncle Fanny's around there. It is up and running." Okay, mate. There you go. So, you know, um, it's not rocket science really, it's quite simple, you know, and um, I think there's about three instructions there, log in, uh, then uh, register, uh, register, log in, uh, put your details in, um, and then, and that's it, basically that is it, you've, you've set up your account, so simple. Anyway, that's going off the subject a bit, wasn't it, like, um, it's just, just one way I thought I'd mention that to some people, not directly directly at Robert, because there's a lot of people saying, well, how do you go about doing that, you know? So, I'm not going to rabbit on anymore, because, uh, as always, 
you lot are getting boring, mate. I'm not getting many videos coming back now. I don't know what's happening. You all be out there on your bushcraft fairs and, and walkabouts and all that. Summer's coming, isn't it? It'll be all camping, won't it? That's when I hope to get some videos up for camping. My mate down London, I'm hoping he's going to come up like, because my mate down the road, a couple of mile, um, I don't think it's going to happen like, you know, he's, he's a bit, he is a bit poorly and his brother's poorly, so, um, I'm not being awful, but, God, you know, God bless him, I hope, uh, I hope all's well like, but, you've got to get your priorities right, and I'm afraid the, the family bit, when there's, you know, illness in the family, that comes first, mate, and foremost. Right, I'm going to go in and have a cup of Rosalie now, that's a cup of tea to you people over there. Have you looked at uh, Kirk? <laughs> Kirk North, Kirk of the North 51, I think it was, right? <laughs> yeah, you've got to have a look at his video. It's all about these moose horns. <laughs> when he showed me it, uh, I know I said this before, but he showed me, he picked it up out, it was out of camera shot, he picked it up and I went, that's an elephant tusk, isn't it? <laughs> I said, I can't make a bag big enough to put that on. That'd be silly. <laughs> See you on the next one. <laughs> Cheerio. <laughs>